Hey everybody, we have updated our van. So we switched from our 2001 E350 that served us real well that I did the last video on to a 2017 Promaster. So this particular model is the high roof model and it is the long wheelbase. It's not the extended, but it is the long. So sliding side door with glass makes it real nice to be able to uh, have visibility for the driver backing out pulling out things like that. It's a nice dark tinted glass. So uh, for the most part uh, Keeps most prying eyes out unless they're up on it. We're fortunate. We're in an area where we don't have to worry about that too much. So Concept with this design was just to try and keep most used items readily available from needing to get into the van to get at them. So uh, vacuum is one of the the big items that we use a lot when we're especially on our remodels more so than new construction but still one of those items you want to grab right away so we just did a real simple plywood um, piece glued and nailed to the floor just keeps it from sliding around while you're driving does a nice job still easy to grab you don't have to unbungee anything to grab it or whatever have not had an issue with it bouncing out or moving out um, the other thing that that we did with this build was to to maintain a plywood divider between the cab and and the rear gives us the ability to mount plenty of things that we need to access readily um, provides a little bit of element of safety for the the driver and the pasture up front as well um, and there's plenty of strength in in that caulk gun, knife blades, broom, levels. Again, everything we need to grab pretty quick. Behind the seat and the, between the divider, we've got you know our, our whisk broom. We've got a dust pan. Um, got a couple of bottle jacks in there. The stuff that we like to use pretty, uh, pretty frequently. The way we did this build out, it has um, two buys that we attach to the outer cross members of the van. And then with that, we were able to attach the plywood. We used a three-quarter pre-finished plywood everywhere. Just plenty of beef to mount things and just kind of made it a little bit nicer inside. So you can kind of see the two-by up top there. In the middle, it ended up being a two-by and then another one that we planed down to, I think it was like an inch, to keep everything nice and straight going down. And then at the bottom, we just did some simple pocket screws and glue to the subfloor. So just use some lines everywhere, made sure we kept everything nice and straight, and that gave us a real secure attachment point. Obviously we started first and foremost with a, a subfloor that we glued to the uh, steel underneath with some construction adhesive, and then we did utilize the spots that had the factory D-rings. We went and found a uh, a flush head screw that fit the threads and so each panel has at least two screws in it as well and then it's tongue and groove so it's not going to go anywhere that did create a little void on the sidewalls so we were able to utilize that for some storage needs uh, t-square framing square long straight edge slides on that two by that we had put in there give us a spot for that stuff We've got the festool HKC saw, so that little cubby down there keeps that in place. It rests at the back wheel well so that it doesn't uh, doesn't get lost back there. It's easy to grab for that. Uh, we integrated some LED lights into the ceiling. Just simple 12 volt tape lighting from Amazon. Uh, hardwired that to the factory dome lights. So if you want to turn them on, if they're off, if you depress the, the door contact, they'll fire up with the stock cargo lights. So makes it nice that it times out. I don't have to worry about the battery dying and it just adds some nice light to the back cargo area. Um, just makes it nice to see things, especially if it's a dark day or at night or whatever you're loading and unloading. Back behind driver's seat, we've got a little fold up two wheel cart jumper cables, Bosch little LED flashlight. Easy to grab, quick, it's useful. It's got little magnets on it, keeps it in place, doesn't slide around. The front cab of these are pretty nice. 
Um, this one's got the little bit nicer radio and plenty of USB ports for charging phones, things like that. Um, it has an attic space in the cab area. That's where we chose to mount our brake controller for the trailer. So it's out of the way. We don't have to worry about bumping it with our knee or it being mounted on top of the dash or anything like that. And then the other thing that we really liked about the ProMaster was it had a secondary attic storage space above that yet where we've got some furniture blankets, uh, cutting edge, a couple of collapsible sawhorses that stay up here. Just some nice extra storage for us up in there. Um, this thing is huge. It's got so much more space than our old van that we kind of have this gigantic empty front to back shelf that we're not really doing much with. Um, it's nice, we can throw our lunch pails up there. Uh, other odds and ends that we maybe don't need to keep in all the time, but just gives us a spot to keep it tucked out of the way. Um, my real simple archaic clamp storage right now. I need to work on something a little bit more refined, but it works, simple enough to grab. Tracks we keep mounted to the ceiling. This is just a piece of half inch plywood. We painted white before we installed it and it's just screwed up with some self tappers into the roof cross members. Gave us the ability to obviously mount the lights and then mount our tracks. So a little plywood cleat with a dado or rather a rabbit in that. Um, keeps that sitting tight there. And then just loosen this knob a little rubber foot that keeps it clamped up to the ceiling nice and tight so one side we have our long track and on the other side we have the shorter track we've got jigsaw and sanders that we keep in here all the time again just kept it simple and just have some plywood strips brad nailed to the shelf just enough space that they'll fit in there if they don't move around they don't slide there's no risk of them falling off the shelf when you're driving um, simple shelving unit that we built for track saw storage hkc storage and other miscellaneous uh, just did a real simple forstner bit recess where the pins go so it's still adjustable but they lock in so they don't fall off or slide forward so, seems to be working for us right now. We'll see. Time will tell how long that works for us. But as you know, no issues right now. Three-man crew, small company. So we each got a spot for our tool belts that hang up out of the way. It's nice. You can put them on inside the van. You're not crouching down, pulling them out or anything like that. Um, basic tools are stored. We each have our own basic toolbox stored on the floor for our, all of our needs there. Big fan of the tough system. For us, it works real nice. The mount system with the spring-loaded clamps. We make our own brackets. If you guys have seen some of my other pictures and stuff, you know we just weld a little tab on the side, put a little bevel on it. So if you pick the box up and you set it on the brackets, you just push it back. You don't have to pull the handles, the bevel. Springs them out of the way, and then it locks it in so they don't come off while you're driving. Again, another reason for the three-quarter inch plywood so that those brackets that are screwed to the plywood are nice and solid. I think they have five number 10 or number 10. They may even be number 12 screws in each one. So they're nice and solid, not going anywhere. Um, keep them labeled. So when you hop in, you know what you need to grab. If you just need to grab a few things, you grab it from here. If you want to take the whole box into the job site, you can do that. It's simple enough. Another storage unit, shelf unit. Again, just it's overflow space for us right now. We're carrying more than we ever did in our van. We don't carry everything. You know, we load up for the day if we have specific needs. But this has all of our everyday need tool items in there. Probably going to put an inverter down there mounted in this particular model had the upfit switches it's got some auxiliary switches so we could turn on an inverter from up front and charge a battery on the way to the job site and then turn it off when we get there so we don't have to worry about draining the battery um, on the back we've got the pole we had a, a roof mount ladder rack so the pole stays inside clips into there folds down the extension ladder so that it makes it real easy to access that. You know, just more tough system boxes. These are our main tool items. So again, we can grab Cordis SDS, finished nailers, um, Roto-Zip, multi-tool, you know, whatever. 
and then most commonly used screws are accessible without having to get up in to the vehicle to get those items out the little senko trim compressor just stores itself real nice there mini sledgehammer hitch for when we're not towing sits there d-rings so that we can um, strap anything we want down magnet shovel little steel plate keeps that all in place it's important for us to make this sight line flush so if we want to haul some drywall some doors trim whatever and strap it we can put it up against there strap it up to the front and it holds it nice and secure while we're heading to the job site and then uh, again accessible air hoses extension cords uh, shot back hose things like that just open the back doors grab them bungees keep them from moving around while we're driving um, seems to work very well we've been working out of it now for about a month um, it will tow our 18 foot covered trailer it does a decent job at that it's been super nice to be able to stand up to get items in and out of the van and um, overall um, definitely a nice upgrade and definitely worth the time and the money we spent to upfit the inside for our needs so hopefully there's some useful ideas for other people out there and thanks for watching